hi everyone welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to create an encrypted qr using flutter so in one of my previous video we have discussed about how to scan and how to generate a qr using flutter hope you all remember that and in this video it is quite similar to that but we have added an extra feature like instead of creating a qr for a given plain text we will be encrypting the plain text what the user provides so the encryption format using is like we'll be making use of aes encryption and with the help of which we'll be encrypting the plain text and creating a qr out of that okay so here is a quick demo as usual you have seen this we have a generate qr button and here we have a simple text form field and let me give a string or any data so for this uh, data what I have given is flutter and I want a QR to be generated for this uh, string flutter okay so if I just click uh, generate QR you will be able to get a QR so in the previous video I will be simply creating a QR for the flutter and if you scan this QR you will be able to retrieve the data the raw data which is flutter in our case okay so which is doesn't make sense right so I have added an encryption format within which the flutter the text is being encrypted and the encrypted text what you can see here is a hexadecimal string containing alphabets and numbers so for this hexadecimal string the qr is generated right now okay here in order to retrieve the data so now if you just scan this qr using any a third party app or you, with the help of the default camera from your mobile you will be able to get only this data this encrypted text okay you won't be able to get the plain text which is flutter in our case okay in order to get this raw data that is flutter you need to make use of the scan qr feature available in this app itself so only if you make use of this scan qr or if you scan that qr using this feature enabled within this app only you will be able to retrieve the flutter text okay because the logic to decrypt the encrypted qr is written over here in the scan qr class and moreover in this video we will be not concentrating upon the ui stuff and the logic to create the qr so because we have already discussed in detail about the same in the previous video if you are new to this video kindly please do check that part 1 video first i will also leave the link for that at the card at the top right you can just click that and you can view that and come back to this video later on so then you will be able to get a clear cut idea and you can able to cope up with the understanding of the features what I am about to discuss in the later part okay so with this idea let's move on to the coding part of how to implement this encrypted QR using flutter all right here uh, before entering the coding part we need to add few dependencies and here are those the first is flutter underscore barcode underscore scanner okay so this dependency will be making use of in order to scan the qr code and the next dependency is encrypt so with the help of this dependency we will be making use of the aes encryption and the third is the qr underscore flutter so the, this dependency will be very much helpful to generate the qr out of the plain text and at last we have the url launcher so this url launcher is uh, as you could know that if the plain test is some kind of a link then in, in order to uh, open the link in an external tab or something else we will be making use of the url launcher okay so add these dependencies in your pub spec and run pub get in order to retrieve the packages and inside the main.dat file we have a simple navigation to the my home page and inside this my home page uh, as I discussed before this UI stuff we have already uh, discussed the previous in the previous video right and uh, here we have a simple uh, image which is this one and we have two buttons one for scan QR and generate QR which is written down here okay and if you just click on scan QR you will be navigate to the scan QR class which is a simple uh, class you can see here and similarly if you just click on the generate qr button then you will be uh, navigating to the qr generator class first let us just focus on the qr generator class that is generating a encrypted qr okay so let's move on to the qr generator class now and inside this class we have uh, a text form field to get the data from the user and build generate qr button okay you can see here that uh, a simple text field and a button okay 
So inside this text field, we have nothing else that's just to get the data from the user. And if the editing is complete, we'll be moving on to the navigate function. Similarly, even if you click on the button, you'll be navigating the navigate of function, which is written down here. In this navigator function, we have made a, a navigator to the generated QR class. Okay, so this generated QR class is responsible for building up the QR for the value we are passing in and using the QR image which we just so this is widget we will be obtaining with the help of the de dependencies what we have discussed before okay so it's not much in detail okay so we have passed in the simple text what the user index so the text will be passed on to the generated QR class and this class will build up the QR code okay so what we need to do now is like need to encrypt this text uh, before passing it to the generator QR class. What we need to do is like and before going on with the encryption we need to create a class which defines the set of uh, encryptions and uh, vectors and keys. Let me create a class for that and name it like AES encryption. say this class we need to have few variables the first one is the key which is for our encryption and first let me import the package which is will be importing it as encrypt okay so this is the package we'll be using and we'll be making use of the encrypt prefix and key and i will be making use of the key from the length which is of 32 okay and similarly we need to create another variable which is iv which is the initialization vector encrypt dot iv from length and the length what i will be providing is 16 similarly at last we need to have another kind of variable which is encrypt r encrypt dot encryptor and pass in the algorithm which is AES with the help of the key okay so these are the variables which we need to predefine and also we need to define uh, the methods for encrypting and decrypting the text first let us create a function to encrypt the plain text message or a string and I will be naming the function as encrypt message and it gets the parameter which is the text of type string what it returns is encryptor dot encrypt of it takes the text which has been passed as a parameter and we need to specify the initialization vector which is iv in our case okay so we have created a function to encrypt a text okay a string similarly we need to create a function for decrypting the message and i will be renaming the function as decrypt msd and the parameter which we need to pass is like a encrypt object so i'll be making use of encrypt dot encrypted The name is text then encryptor dot decrypt of the text and the IV. Okay, so we have created a function for encrypting the text, and similarly, we have created a function to decrypt the text. Okay, and another function which we need is uh, to get the 
to create an, an encrypted object out of a hexadecimal string so this method will be invoking in the later part and i will also just discuss in detail during the coding points so, okay so it gets the string and it need to create an encrypted object encrypt dot encrypted we are using base 16 format and okay encrypt so this this function is responsible for rendering an object of type encrypted from the given string so the string here is an hexadecimal string so as, as shown before it is the combination of numbers and alphabets so out of those we will be creating a encrypted object so this function will be very much helpful during the decode process okay so with this we have created a class for aes encryption let's move on back to the uh, generate your class so here we need to just encrypt the text before passing it to the generated QR class okay and the encryption will be and before that we need to create an instance for our AES encryption class so then we will be able to access the functions which is written down there be making use of encryption dot encrypt message so we need to encrypt the message and the message is my controller dot text and it should be of type base 16 so if we just leave it as encrypt dot encrypt message of text then it will be encrypting a instance of encrypted so we need to get a hexadecimal string and for that we will be making use of base 16 okay so now we have just passed in the data that is the encrypted hexadecimal string to the generated QR class and this class will do the rest in rest of creating the QR out of the encrypt text okay so now we have completed generating a hexadecimal QR code well yeah so this is a QR which is generated out of this encrypted text the next i mean what we need to do is to decrypt this qr code and get the raw data out of that for that we need to move to scan qr class and then say this class as the same we need to create an instance And here is it is okay so whenever the scan is complete I'll be assigning the data to the QR data which is the variable which I have defined above so you can see it here okay so this is a simple string and here here is what we need to write the logic for decryption okay and the decryption logic is like and we need to make use of the instance encryption dot decrypt message and inside this message we will need to call another function which we have written down which is the get code and inside this get code we need to pass the qr data which we have already obtained from in this line okay well we have now assigned the decrypted text to the qr data variable and this data variable is just used with the help of this text widget okay so after the scanning if the result is obtained that encrypted hexadecimal string is now decrypted back to its original raw data which is later assigned to the qr data variable which will be used in say this text widget okay so this is all about the encryption and decryption how we can make use of the AES encryption and create an encrypted QR out of that.
okay hope you all enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye